Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today's Divi tutorial is going to be for our Divi events calendar, and it's how to highlight categories in the events feed or events carousel and events calendar. Basically, I'm going to show you how to change the color of any particular category. You could have every category a different color, you could feature just one category. So let's get started, this is really cool. All right, so this is a pretty popular request lately, adding collars to the categories and highlighting them in that way. So what I'm going to do is go over this as each module. Well, it's pretty simple. Um, the carousel and the events feed are very similar, different class, and then the events calendar is a little different, um, different CSS, but I have it all in this tutorial. So if you're on YouTube, you'll definitely need to open up the blog post, come over here and check out the CSS for this. So we're using the Divi events calendar with Divi and the events calendar, and we're making certain categories, whichever ones we want to be a certain color. Um, and, and that's changing the background, the text, the buttons, anything like that. So it's, I'm showing you how to do any of that. All right, let's see how this works. So this is kind of, probably going to be a little bit of a longer one because there's a lot involved, especially if you have a lot of categories. But if you're just doing one category, it's actually pretty quick. So basically, we need to go over some of the ground rules first. So we're going to have CSS. So, you know, put that in your child theme. If you have a child theme, if you do not, you can put it in Divi theme options. Here we have information about that. And then about custom classes, as we get down through, I'll be giving you the actual CSS classes, like you'll be able to paste in the code and it'll work in the events feed module, for example. But let's say you have, um, you only want it to happen in, in a particular page, you know, only in the module on this page or whatever. Well, then you're going to need to use a custom class. And when, anytime that you need that, you'll just need to um, replace what we say here. You'll need to replace like, right here decm underscore event underscore display you would replace that in the code with you know my custom class whatever um, otherwise you know you can just go ahead and paste it in and anytime you have that category on your website it will affect that so if you only have like one page with events like an events feed module for example well then you're fine don't worry about custom classes just skip that part all right so down in the code, we're giving you basically a snippet and we already have a category um, highlighted. I kind of had to. Here's an example. Right here is the selector. You will notice that in the middle here, so first of all, let me just start here. We're targeting the events feed module in this particular one. And then we're targeting the posts and we're attaching that to our category outdoor events and then underscore ECS category. So the part that you need to change every single time, and this you happen to have outdoor events as a category is outdoor events. So every time, um, if your category is music, you would say music instead of outdoor events. All right. Very simple, you know, virtual events, online training, whatever your category is, you replace outdoor events. Now, later on, it'll be a little different. Um, I think I was using, uh, but this is down in the calendar one. It's a little different. Same thing, but we'll get to that. All right, so basically, all we need to do is copy the code in and find the category slug. So it's really those, it's really as simple as that. It's going to look more complicated and seem more complicated, but it's really just a matter of pasting in the CSS pasting it in for every single category and then replacing every category. Now, if you only want to do one category, it's really easy. I am going to be working right here on our demo, diviEventsCalendar.com slash demo one. This is where we're going to be working. I'm going to paste the code and you're going to see it. So let's get started. Actually, I guess I should show you where to find the, go to your website and you'll go to the back end. Um, I'm just going to show you where to find the category slug. So go to events and then event categories. 
All right, so let's see. I was using outdoor event. Right here, you can see it. Outdoor event has this slug right here. Remember I was showing you that? Like I said, if it was music, it would just be music. Lectures, community events, real estate, whatever yours is, the slug is right here. So if you're, like, let's say yours is races right here. Um, 5K races, all that stuff, bike races. All you would do is come over here, paste in your snippet, this entire thing, and then right here where it says outdoor events, you would say races right there. Okay, let's get started. So here's how it works. I have each item, background, border, title, date, time. Uh, Got to fix that, date and time. Venue location, price, organizer, categories, excerpt, button, icons. We've got you covered. Basically, we've needed to add a CSS class for every single item here, right? The reason, if you change this to like blue or black, the background, all of a sudden your text, you won't be able to read. So yeah, we have to add the code. Now, then we also have everything. I'm gonna be using everything. So just go here and copy everything. Copy all of that like that. All right, it's a lot, but that's because we're, we have a snippet for each item. Now you would want to, like I said, put this in your child theme or um, in your in your Divi theme options. So like if you were using Divi theme options, you could go here. So just under Divi theme options and down here, you'd just scroll down. And then in this box right here, um, you would just put it at the bottom. All right, so I am going to actually paste it into a Chrome extension um, just because I want to show you live. Um, this Chrome extension that I use is called User CSS. It allows you to come in here and paste any snippets live and see them live. Now, it's only showing it for me, obviously. Um, it won't show it on the actual website, but I can paste. And there, pasted all of my code that I needed. And so you can see right away, hey, this is blue now. This button's dark color. This text is light blue. Um, there's a border on here. Well, I guess it always is. Um, right here it is. We can go down through. Right there's the background. Now, if I would have made this um, red, there's my background. See how it is targeting uh, my events category, outdoor events. Now here, let me show you something. This one over here, I happen to know this is community events. See this category? I'm gonna make a guess that the slug is community events. Ha ha, it switched to that one. So you can see how, you know, it's hard to read the text. That's why you would need to change the title, the date, time, all that stuff. So in this case, you know, um, I don't know the title here, I guess, or yeah, I don't know. You could change, I would have to come in here. It's hard to actually find it all. So if I could come in here to community, and I need to type it right here. Every time it says outdoor, remember? There you can see I changed the title of any event that has, um, it's a community event category. I changed it to white and red. That's how you do it. That's how you do it with every single one. So if you wanted community events to be red and you wanted um, outdoor events to be green or something like that, you would you would want to you know copy the the snippet again, and you'd actually have to paste it again. For my example, I'm going to paste it again and change it back to um, outdoor. And then I'm going to just make them green just so, it, yeah, see? So now all my outdoor events, I could have background green. Um, yeah, there you go. Now, if every single event, you know, had a dark background, you could, could go into the module and change all these texts to white, like this white. The reason it's dark is because I want most of my events to still be like the white background and the dark text and the blue buttons and stuff like that. But, you know, let's say I just wanted to highlight a couple, <laughs> it's Christmas, um, a couple items, a couple categories. This works really well. All right. So I hope this is making sense. This is for the events feed module. Now, 
everything i don't actually i didn't actually give you i didn't it wasn't any point in me copying everything in here again for the events carousel but if you want to do this for the events carousel you would take that's in fact let me go there let me just go to my demo of the events carousel so anything here like right now i'm looking and i'm not seeing um, like this is that same event christmas street festival the, what I have here in the in the instructions here it says note the snippets in this section are for the events feed but they are the same for the events carousel with one important difference for the events carousel you will need to also change the decm underscore event underscore display to diec event carousel so let's go ahead and do that and even if we just do a couple you'll get the idea really quick. So remember, we have our code in here for community events, but there is a problem. This very first thing needs to be replaced because DECM underscore event underscore display is actually targeting the um, events feed. We need it to target the events carousel. And just like that, you saw, let me get back to it. You can see that now we're targeting this, just that one change. It's That's how CSS works. It's the beginning. So you're getting a CSS lesson here too. We're targeting, this narrows it down. That way it doesn't, um, if we didn't have that, if I just took that out, any time that we have a community event, so if I'm in the events feed or events carousel, it would be red. And so, but we're actually narrowing it down with the CSS by adding that class, okay? You would wanna do that to all of the ones that are in this area right here. It says events feed and events carousel. Okay. That is the CSS right here. All of it there. You would want to go down and replace the DECM underscore event display with the one that I have listed here. It's a little bit different. DIEC event carousel. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the events calendar. That's right here. We are going to highlight an event like that right on the calendar. So let's get out of here. I'm going to just remove my user CSS. I can click and it closes. And then I'm going over here to the events calendar module demo. Okay, currently um, I'm in November recording this. I want this online virtual meeting to be, I don't know, red or whatever. So go back to, oh, well, first of all, you would want to go to your events event categories remember if you didn't know what the slug was already so for me virtual events are just virtual dash events but if you didn't know that you could come back in here and check that now you can also check in the css if you know how to use the chrome inspect tools like this that you can click inspect and then you can go and you can click on the event and you can actually see in here it says virtual events now that's for advanced users and advanced users already know how to do that. So it doesn't matter anyway. Um, in my CSS, uh, Divi CSS course that's coming out, you'll, you'll learn how to do that. But anyway, right now we just want to go over here and grab the snippets. And again, we're going to be replacing, um, just one part of this. So I'm going to grab where it says everything. <clears throat> it's not as much for this one. It's just, uh, the background and the date and the title okay because see the background and the border the date and the title so i'm going to paste this in and right there you could see that it changed all right and so i knew that this was a virtual event i knew it was the virtual event category is what i mean and so i already had this in here so right now we are targeting decm underscore divi underscore event underscore calendar and then we're targeting virtual events that's the category underscore dec underscore category so again we're targeting the this is the class for the events calendar module and then the category and that's followed by underscore dec underscore category and then i say background and that's the red hex color right there um, let me just show you if I wanted this green, for example. See, it turned green. So if I wanted to highlight, you know, 
whatever, any category, a different color. And then like, let's say I, well, let's do, let's do this. Let's say I wanted, um, I wanted this to be like gray. Well, no, let's, let's go with light gray. I think that's the one. And then let's say I wanted now, now it's hard for me to read my text. So I want that to be black. I can add zeros. And then the same thing here, this, the first one there, you can see that it's targeting the time and then this one's targeting the title. So I could change this to zeros. And so just like that, I could say my virtual events have a gray background and black text. So this one's pretty easy. Just the three different classes. And I have everything labeled by the way. Here it says event background in the comment, event start time, and event title. So I really tried to make it easy for you. I know this is a lot, a lot to take in, um, but I hope I've explained it well. If I've missed anything, I'll update the, the tutorial there. Um, but yeah, I think, um, I think we've hit the, the main things here. So you can use this to highlight, I think right now the trending thing is to highlight um, virtual events. Maybe I'll make a separate tutorial on that or you know what you would consider featured events or maybe you want to have like a color code and like say you know um the blue events are <laughs> i don't know you know what i'm saying like the blue ones mean this and the red ones mean this and you know have like a code on on your calendar so yeah this will help you do that and you know i didn't say it at the beginning but we didn't know how that we would even begin to add this as a feature in the plugin, it's kind of one of those bonus things. Uh, it would we'd have to make it somehow dynamic that we could read which categories you had. But then the problem becomes every single one of these settings, every single one of these other settings in the events feed or events carousel, like every single item here, would need to have a setting for every single category, and it would get insane. Like, can you imagine? like it would almost be like duplicating how many settings we have and like having those same settings for each category it would be insane and so it yeah i think doing this as a tutorial it's it's fairly simple um i i really think it is and hope i haven't overwhelmed you but just follow along read you know read everything here i tried to put everything here that we need um like i said you know if you if you have multiple categories you'll want to duplicate your CSS. You can pick and choose which items you want. Um, maybe you just want the background and title and that's going to depend what you're showing here. You know, if you just have a couple items, you don't need the extra CSS. Like if you're not showing the button or you're not showing the category here, you're just showing maybe the title and the location or time. Well then just, just pick and choose, like just, you know, copy the background, um, the one for title you know, one for date, right? You won't, you wouldn't need like the price and organizer and, and all that. That's, that's kind of how that works. So, um, so then once you copy it in once, change your categories, you can then copy your code again, um, for each category. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think of this because this was a requested tutorial. So let me know in the comments on YouTube and on the blog, what you guys think. And honestly, I would love to see like your examples, paste your links. Um, that would be great. I want to see what you guys do with this. Okay, there you go. So that's how you highlight any event category in the Divi events calendar plugin. We have other tutorials coming for the, our plugin here. Um, let me know what you would like to see that's specific to this or other ones specific to Divi. Of course, we have a lot of just regular Divi tutorials coming as well. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.